السلام علیکم فرینڈس آئی ایم یور ٹیکس دوست اینڈ ٹیکس ہوسٹ اینتھنی ولیمس ویلکم ٹو ٹیکس دوستی رپورٹنگ ویڈیو اینڈ بیسکلی ٹیکس دوستی ڈاٹ کام ویب سائٹ سے اس ٹیکس ٹیکس دوستی از اسمارٹ ٹیکس فائلنگ ان تھرٹی منٹس سو وی آر ویری کانفیڈنٹ دیٹ ایف یو ریگولرلی وزٹ آر ویب سائٹ اینڈ سی آل دی انفارمیشن دیٹ وی کیپ آن پٹنگ آن دس ویب سائٹ فار یو سو ایونچولی وین یو ول approach us to file your tax return we will be able to file your tax return in 30 minutes uh, knowing about your tax rights is uh, the cause the tax dosti is taking and we want to help you and in that regard tax dosti reporting videos are basically about news that happens every day this is the news that uh, was published on dawn Uh, website on September 9, 2018. It says first tax recovery made under Panama Papers investigations. All of you know that Panama Paper investigation was basically a data leak from the firm Panama Papers, which was famous for creating offshore companies. Offshore companies are companies which are open in in countries or in places where there is no taxation. so basically people can manage their taxes or reduce their taxation but a lot of corruption was going on by people putting their money there so that uh, rather stretching it there so that no one could notice but with this data leak a lot happened and this news uh, article in dawn is saying that exactly 2 years after starting the exercise in pakistan the tax authorities have reported that first recoveries under the investigation into assets held by individuals named in panama and paradise papers so dawn is saying that it has taken 2 years for the federal board of revenue fbr to start recovering taxes that were due to the government of pakistan but were not paid because Pakistani individuals were using uh, such places as Panama to uh, avoid taxation rather to evade taxation so basically FBR has started um, uh, let's see if uh, dawn uh, dawn has its dates and times correct so another report that appeared in dawn about 2 years back on 9th of april 2016 uh, declared that fbr has fi- finally wakes up to panama papers scam basically this story was broken in april uh, of uh, 2016 that a lot uh, that the family of nawaz sharif and other powerful people has been leaked out in the panama papers and that those papers show that they own a lot of assets which they have not declared in their tax returns and wealth statements so the director general of intelligence and investigation of inland revenue fbr told on this date uh, the people of pakistan that they have started uh, proceedings against all those people whose name had been uh, declared in the panama papers so first of all what they did was they basically sent under section 176 of income tax ordinance 2001 empowers tax officials to issue notices to any person wherever there is any information regarding tax evasion or concealment of income to certain whether such claims are true so first what fbr did was all the people 350 Pakistani is named in the Panama papers they sent sec- uh, notices under 176 asking them to declare whether they have assets or not and along with that notice they also sent notice under section 114 which is a section which tells the person receiving the notice to file his income tax return and along with this sec- uh, income tax return he or she also has to file her wealth statement under 116 so this is what don reported 2 years back and this is the uh, process 
that and every time a tax evader is caught or any information is gained about tax evasion or tax avoidance so these are the powers of fbr to send notices and first to ask about them about the assets and then to require the person to file his tax return under 149 so with this context let's see okay, what has been done till now and data from federal board of revenue obtained by dawn shows that karachi and islamabad ltu large taxpayer unit have made first recovery of tax since the start of this exercise two years back the mbr has recovered 6.2 billion rupees which is great because this money was this money these taxes were due and these were powerful people these are powerful people and the law is equal so everyone has to pay according to his or her earning so 15 cases total demand uh, created were 15 cases out of these 15 cases 6.2 billion has been recovered the remaining amount 4.64 billion remains under process uh, fbr has a, pow a power to follow up and ask and if they don't give they can then proceed to recover and we will uh, we'll talk in another lecture of what the recovery pro process is under the income tax ordinance the report goes on to say that break up shows that six uh, cases notices were issued to members of single leading business family by islamabad ltu normally business people are very very of uh, paying taxes and instead they make the mistake of Uh, bribing or paying the tax official instead uh, instead of paying the government so uh, that comes around when they are caught i'm very much sure that these le leading members of the single leading business family must have paid the tax authorities of islamabad a lot of money then but now they have to pay this amount also and as you can see in our previous videos with this much amount of recovery 6.2 billion rupees not only the income tax ordinance 2001 is activated uh, the anti money laundering act of 2010 is also activated and prosecution and proceedings can be initiated under those also because this may be crime money uh, uh, going forward the single largest tax demand is from an individual 3.16 million second largest recovery 2. for the in 2016 uh, they are referring to their um, uh, previous uh, rep, uh, article in september 2016 fbi intelligence issued 444 notices but you can see that they uh, they then tell that 151 pakistani individuals were untraceable and furthermore 78 cases also returned because the notice could not be delivered there needs to be an improved system of tracking all the addresses of pakistani people for their benefit as well as for uh, their concerns because for example if a person has made these money properly but just has has used the accounting technique of offshore banking if he has not gotten notices that in the eyes of fbr has automatically made that person a defaulter uh, a tax evader so that should not be the fbr should have proper uh, addresses and information of people living in pakistan and outside of pakistan so the report then concludes that in the paradise leaks a total of 38 individuals and in the bahama leaks 150 pakistanis were injured um uh, friends it's very important that uh you uh have your account made on iris the online uh, filing system of uh, fbr and you also have your all your information updated because mostly it picks the data from nadra database if your nadra database has old information or your permanent information then you should update your iris fbr so that the notices the government sends this notice may be have, may have been sent to you also so uh, it's important that you keep your information up to date uh, we thank you for watching uh, tax dosti reporting 
uh, where we bring the news in the context of discussing and giving our opinion about the tax laws involved and how they are affecting your tax rights. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.